Hi family, hope you're doing well today. I want to give a warm welcome to the new subscribers. Today I am making flan de huevo or egg pudding. I've made it in the oven before but I'm gonna make it al baño maria or double boiler this time. And I will let you know what mistakes I made and how to correct them. First I have here some orange rind and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and whole milk. Don't use low fat milk, they won't turn out nice, that's 16 ounces of milk. When using the rind make sure there's no white part in it because the flan will turn bitter. I'm using one cup of white sugar and one cup of water for the caramel. And that's the first thing I'm going to make. That's a lot more than I need, but it's better to have more. And start your caramel first because it's going to take a lot longer to make than the other steps. Then put three eggs in a bowl. That's one egg per flan. Beat them and set them aside for now. Next, I am... I'm going to bring the milk, vanilla, and orange to almost to a boil and remove it from the stove. Before I forget, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel. For each recipe, I do voiceover in English and Spanish. So let's go back to the flan. The water has almost completely evaporated from the caramel. By the way, if you have children, keep them away from the caramel because it burns really bad. I reduce the temperature to control better the caramel. And when it looks like cinnamon in color, I remove it from the stove because it will burn in seconds and turn bitter. One of the mistakes I made was to put six cups of water in that pan. I should have put only four because the water should be halfway of the flan containers and mine was almost to the edge. But here's a trick. Put a paper towel or baking paper over the water so that the water doesn't splatter over the flannes when it's boiling. Now I put the caramel into each container. Be careful, don't burn yourself. And move it around the sides of the container. Watch the other dessert videos at the end. And don't forget to check out the desserts playlist in my channel. Next, I strain the lukewarm milk into the eggs. I don't want the orange rinds in there, so that's why. If you pour very hot milk on the eggs, they are going to curd and you, don't want, you won't have a flan, you will have a quiche. After that, I'm adding one tablespoon of condensed milk per, uh, per flan into the mix. If you make them differently, let me know. In the comments, I am taking suggestions for the perfect flan. And integrate well into the mix. I want my flanners to be light, airy, and creamy. Filling the molds almost full because they will souffle when cooking, but will come down when you serve them, once they cool down and put them into the double boiler or baño maria, making sure it has a soft boil, cover them, and cook for 25 to 35 minutes. Then insert a toothpick in the middle of the flan. If it comes out clean, they're ready. If not, give them five more minutes. Wait at least half an hour before serving, Use a knife on the edges to loosen them up. Serve and enjoy. Chaito.